Why do you rope calves? You know, I haven't really thought about that. <laughs> Rodeo time. Gotta get her on down the road. I know that Saturdays are for the boys, but the weekends are for rodeo time. And rodeo time is all the time, otherwise my name ain't Dale Brisby. Matter of fact, right now it's actually about 11 o'clock and we are getting ready to be on to the next one. For the first time in a long time, it's rodeo time. Dale Brisby is back in action. I got my lunch pack packed, my spare tire and jack, my shoes tied tight. I hope I don't get in a fight. What well, if I do, I'll be riding bulls punching fools. Literally both of them. <sighs> you cannot keep a good man down. Oh, I'm so excited. I feel like it's the first day of school. You know, but it's not. It's, it's the end of the season. It's the end of the year for a lot of people. But me, I'm just excited to be on the road. I don't care if it's just one and then all of a sudden there's not any more till February. <laughs> don't tell me no lies. Don't tell me to be uh, down in the dumps. You can't keep a good man down. You cannot keep a good man down. excited as I was about my first. Every time you walk in that building, you never take it for granted, so you're always excited. Good ride tonight. Thank you. You're looking good. You excited about getting married? Man, fired up. What an idiot. Up. What an idiot. No, no, I said congratulations. <laughs> see our friends good to see buddies good to just smell the flesh fleshly freshly plowed arena dirt again I'm gonna come out with one of those sand sandal candles so don't you guys don't do it first I, I called shotgun on freshly plowed arena dirt candle um, I'm gonna go to bed and then I will see you tomorrow here on rodeo time same episode please um enjoy this word from our sponsors during this break while i'm sleeping good night <laughs> you ain't got no cowboy truck then you ain't no cowboy you ain't got three rows and two saddles and 34 bridles for your three horses, then you ain't no cowboy. You ain't got a ranch bronc that you can ride bareback, even on a brisk morning, hoodie weather, old son, then you ain't no cowboy. If you don't tie off and alley, old son, you ain't no cowboy. What am I doing? I'm just ranching. Just ranching. Oh, my back. Hey, guys, I ain't got time to talk to y'all. You know why? Because I'm just ranching, old son. Come on, cows!
It is a beautiful Rodeo Time Tuesday. We've got um, a wonderful day planned. Number one, we're going to go down to Weatherford and we're going to uh, sit down with Mr. Josh Hambone Hilton and we're going to talk about, I think that's his last, is that his last name? I think that's his last name. Hambone is all I know him as. Josh Hambone Hilton. Anyways, we're going to go down there. We're going to talk about a fun video that you're going to see later. Then I'm going to do a video for Western Horsemen. Then we're going to Decatur to talk to Mr. Tough Heater. No, I'm just kidding. Tough Cooper. You guys know Tough? Good morning, gentlemen. Baptist, how are you? Is your neck still sore from me spurning it? <laughs> oh, it feels good to have everything fed. You know, I, I like feeding things even for my own good. I like to be just ranching, even for my own good. Because then, it's like, you work out, you feed, the hardest thing of the day is done. Unless you've got to pick something up later on that's heavier and maybe you feed for a living, like at a feedlot or something, then your day is just beginning. The point is, getting something done early just feels good. Now all of a sudden, it's not even eight o'clock and you got all these things done, you're like, oh my goodness, what is next on the list? I didn't see that. Didn't see what? Who won the best rodeo name? That'd be Dale Brisby. <laughs> Dale Brisby. I think you were a contender in there. Yeah. I think something like Ryan Dirt Eater or like Bubba Bucklew, like national champion. What my, happened? My pick was Roscoe Jarbo. What's going on? Roscoe Jarbone's a pretty good one. <laughs> yeah, but only when, uh, only whenever Donnie Gay says it. Yeah. Really fast. Was his name in the running? <laughs> Travis Brazil. Should have been. Should have been. <laughs> what happened to the second F on your name? It couldn't keep up, so it fell off one day. You're just so fast. Yeah, that's right. He said he's so fast, his second F couldn't keep up. <laughs> or he couldn't smell either one. Or he couldn't <laughs> smell it. <laughs> Dale, yeah. Similar to Dale Brisby. Nobody knows what Dale Brisby's jawline looks like. Nobody. That's a good point. Q, who's asking the questions? Uh, we both can. Your horse looks like a statue, Tough. He better not move. Better not move. Yeah, he's got him moving. Thank you. Whoa, pony. Do we have move. to yell at him? I should start saying pony when I say whoa. Whoa, pony. Hey, do you want to have a match open? Whoa, pony. Me and you against Boone and, I mean, me and Boone against you and your pony. What's your horse's name? Sundance. Sundance. And you're Butch Cassidy. <laughs> Randy, I'm looking at it. I got it. It's a butter shot. I'm running it. Call me Colonel Sanders because it is extra crispy, old son. Not quite. He always, uh, it's like he'll make little comments that just show that he's not really listening to what I have to say. Isn't that right, Randy? Yeah. See, there's another one. Me? Yeah. I was just really, really good at it. I'm really good at a lot of things, but... Why don't you stick with Bora? Because that gets the most girls. You know what I mean? Like, I could build this building. I could fly that plane over there. Uh-huh. But all the, most girls like bull riders. But girls like bull riders. They don't like... I mean, they do like pilots, just not as many girls like pilots as they do bull riders. I like that. You know what so I'm saying? So you did it for the girls. All the hell yeah. I'm a red-blooded male American. <laughs> okay, I'm rolling. Why do you rope calves? You know, I haven't really thought about that. <laughs> <laughs> That's a good question. That's a good question. All right, let's talk. First off, just like, kind of just a tough group. Of Down to business. Boone, how do you feel? You have been the subject of so many of our videos. Today I'm teaching um, you guys how to look cool when you're saddling your horse. See, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to show you all some of the tricks. Number one, your hobbles in the back, or they can be around his neck. Boone's not even hobble broke, okay? But they look freaking cool. Um, seat rigging. That's cool. This right here. That's your kicker. Now... A lot of people go over the top on these keepers. I like to go out the bottom, you know, and then people ride by and they're like, there's something different about that cow hand. 
he might be a super puncher. You're right, sir, I am a super puncher. I'm Dale Brisby, and this is Boone, and this is a quirk, so don't backtalk me, or, no, I'm just kidding. Say no to violence, kids, and drugs. Say yes to being a super puncher. That's why I'm glad you're watching Rodeo Time, where you can learn to be a super puncher, rodeo cowboy, bow rider. Um, we did a steer wrestling how-to. What were we talking about? Thank you for watching this episode of Rodeo Time, ladies and gentlemen. Whew, it was a long day, I know that. We got to do a little bit for Sykeston. We got to do a little bit for Las Vegas for the NFR and Western Horsemen. So I hope you enjoyed what little behind the scenes I was able to capture. Um, we're on to the next one. Just a uh, uh, ranching videos is what we were doing. That's what we were doing. You know why? Because it's rodeo time, old son. Zip up hoodie style. Waldale, yeah. Anyway, enough of that. Um, I gotta get this trailer hooked up, okay? So we can have another cattle company day. Hello! I'm on to the next one. Don't forget to like, subscribe, comment to all those citizens and visitors of Winnebago. Old son. Catfish, don't lick the camera.